what is the importance or the reason for this course in Node.js? Node.js is a platform that is uh, helpful in building high performance, event driven, uh, real time and highly scalable uh, networking applications using just JavaScript. In this course, what you will get is a hands-on training in Node.js. We will be building networking and web-based applications that are far, far superior and much more efficient than your everyday regular languages. The best part about Node.js is it's all JavaScript. Whether you're coding something on the server, whether you're coding something on the client, it's just JavaScript everywhere. And that's the beauty of it because the beauty and the freedom that you get in coding JavaScript you can now code the entire application in just JavaScript. This course is specially designed to help you uh, learn this platform and this amazing framework with a lot of ease. Uh, we will be doing a lot of hands-on training, looking at various code snippets, uh, live sessions, and having uh, expert support available for you. A small look at the demand for this course javascript is a language that is known by millions of developers worldwide and when using node.js uh, Node javascript becomes and is converted into a full-fledged server-side programming language that is well suited for not only simple web application but even complex business applications and building rest apis building backends for mobile applications and networking applications, anything that you want, even desktop applications can be built using Node.js. Because of this reason, because of just the need of knowing JavaScript and using JavaScript, you can build so many things. That is why a lot of em employers, a lot of entrepreneurs are switching their technologies to Node.js. And they're actually looking out for candidates and people to work for them that have got at least a basic introduction or knowledge to Node.js. A case in point, Walmart. Walmart had their entire systems changed a couple of years back and converted their entire systems to Node.js. Uh, eBay, PayPal have converted their systems to Node.js. If you looked at the uh, new LinkedIn websites uh, and even their uh, mobile applications, the backends of this mobile application and their websites are all coded using Node.js. Yahoo has also moved on to Node.js. Even Microsoft has gotten many uh, applications and server-side setup done in Node.js. The list is never ending. There are lots of companies that are now moving slowly by slowly to Node.js. Salaries for Node.js developers are already in the $60,000 range. And in fact, by now they've gone much more. Just looking at the graph below, uh, you can see uh, how the number of jobs for Node.js have really skyrocketed over the years. Node.js was first introduced in uh, 2011, uh, beginning of 2011, end of 2010. And you will see that the way the, the number of jobs have really skyrocketed over the past few years. Finally, who is this course for? Who can benefit for this, from this course and who is the intended audience for this course? Anyone who wants to build a real-time system, anyone who is interested in building highly scalable apps in one of the most phenomenal programming languages around, that is JavaScript, can attend this course, okay? Very specially, this course is also tailored for front-end developers. There are a lot of developers out there who are front-end developers, they only are working in HTML, CSS, jQuery, UI design, and stuff like that. If you are a front-end developer, you can now move on from front-end development and switch completely to full-stack development. So you don't only have to build your front-end, but you can now using Node.js, and since you already know JavaScript, you don't have to learn any new language, you can also build the server side for your application. And that's really, really wonderful. A lot of front-end developers right now have now switched to becoming full-stack developers. Uh, thirdly, anyone who's aspiring to be a developer, anyone who wants to really get into developing business applications, production-ready applications, 
Uh, and if you just got some basic programming language, even if it is just C programming, you can come in, you can join this course, and you can learn a lot from Node.js. And lastly, anyone can come in. If you can just brush up your HTML and basic JavaScript, that's it. That's all that you need to learn Node.js. It is something that is very beginner friendly, and it is something that is also very appealing to experts and advanced programmers. Next, we look at why is this course relevant to you? Why is it so wonderful? Why is everyone talking about Node.js? First of all, Node.js is really awesome because it's got a very low learning curve. You see, JavaScript is a language that even beginners can catch on to very easily. So yes, the learning curve for Node.js because of the simplicity of JavaScript is very low. Unlike teaching something like PHP or even uh, Java or ASP.NET, Node.js has got a much, much low learning curve. But this does not mean that Node.js is a very simple platform. No, using Node.js, you can even build complex web applications and even simple command line tools, network applications, anything related to the web or to networks can be built using Node.js. The next wonderful part about Node.js is it's open source. It's cross-platform, it's open source, whether you're working on a Windows machine, whether you like the Mac, whether you're more of a Linux guy, no problem, you can code in any operating system using Node.js because Node.js is cross-platform and it's open source. Node.js also has got an amazing open source community. There are many modules and packages that are being built for Node.js. These are like libraries that you can use for your Node.js uh, project uh, that will basically add functionalities to your project. Also, a lot of things are already well tested and well coded out there. You can just use them in your projects. Okay, so an amazing open source community is available even for any help that you might need. There is a wonderful open source community that is there to help you out. The best part about Node.js is that you can code the most complex functionalities in just a few lines of code. We'll shortly see how you can do that. Now, a use case of how we can use Node.js. I'll just give you a small demonstration of how we can use Node.js and build a simple HTTP server. Just a quick demo here. So I have a, I have a folder called intro app. I just create a new file called index.js, index.js, okay? What I first do is I declare a variable and I use Node's inbuilt module called HTTP, which helps you set up an HTTP server. That's a web server, okay? So we'll learn about how to use require and how to use Node modules later in detail, but basically when I say require, it uses one of the Node.js modules that you, that you want to include in your project. Then we say HTTP.create server. It's a built-in function method available for use. And to this method, I will be passing another function. This function has got request and response as arguments. So I can listen to what requests are coming to the server using the request object. I can list and can give the responses that I want to give using the response object. I'll first pass the HTTP code that I need to pass. So I pass 200. 200 means that the request has been successful to the server. And since I want to pass just some simple HTML, I will just say content type is text slash HTML. I will then end this response by just passing some simple HTML code. 